Alex had done his time. I'm aware of that. Seven years in prison. It's enough, don't you think? Well, some would say not. <laughs> like you, for instance. That's not what I reported. But you did. You did report that. When you published his name in your dirty newspaper under the headline, Killer Walks Free. That headline was fact. He was terrorised. They threw eggs at him, smashed his windows. His daughter was bullied at school. Do you know, they even refused to serve them at the local shop. They were outcasts. That's nothing to do with me. I didn't print his address. Oh, come on. You knew exactly what you were doing by printing his name in the village where he lived. What he did was wrong. <laughs> I'm not denying that. Alex lived with it for every minute of every day. He was devastated about what he did. He sought help and had counselling. He stopped drinking completely. He would never drive again. He was working so hard to put his life back together. It's not my fault. I was just doing my job. How dare you? You ruined his life. No, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I don't have a brother because of you. His daughter no longer has a father because of you. I just wanted a good story. Something that resonated with people. A headline yeah. that meant something. Well, we've lost everything. And Alex is dead. How's that for your headline, eh?